Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out how to solve this simple math word problem. So here is the question. If you double a number four times, the result is 80. What is the number? Okay, so that is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is three, B is four, C is five, and D is six. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. Okay, so one more time, the question is, if you double a number four times, the result is 80. What is this original number? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is C, which is five. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face in A+. plus. If you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, this uh, seems to be very easy, but I am confused. Well, there's, a lots of, um, there's lots of different ways you can solve this problem. I'm actually going to use algebra, but you don't have to use algebra to figure this out. But let's go ahead and get into this particular problem. Again, I'm going to uh, be using algebra, but you didn't have to use algebra to solve this problem. You can use different uh, techniques because the numbers are rather uh, easy to deal with. But if the numbers were uh, more challenging, more complicated, well, then you're going to want to use algebra. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and recognize that we are dealing with a math word problem. So always be patient with the process. And I like to use the rule of three to kind of force me to really understand the problem, kind of take in all the information and think about what is the best strategy. And of course, really understand what the question is saying. So here uh, we have a number, right? So we're doubling this number four times. What is the number? Well, anytime you have a kind of a, a word or a phrase in a math word problem and you're looking for a quote unquote number, a value, well, this is a perfect uh, situation to use a variable. Okay, to represent that number. And of course, if we're going to use a variable, well, then we are going to be using algebra. So I'm gonna let X uh, uh, represent this particular number. And then from there, we need to kind of understand the situation. Then ultimately, if I have a variable, the only way I can solve for that variable is to build an equation. So let's go ahead and model the problem by first establishing that we're going to let X equal this quote unquote number. All right, so this is what our variable is going to be equal to. Now we have to kind of think about this problem, right? So, well, if we have this number, okay, and we're going to call that number X, we're going to double this number four times, okay? So what does that look like? Well, let's go ahead and double this number four times right now. So here is our number X. If we double this number one time, and so, for example, if I have three, if I double three, that'd be six. So doubling means we're going to multiply by two, right? So here is our first double. So that gets us to 2x. Our second double is going to be 2x times two. All right, we're going to double this thing right here. So 2x times, uh, 2x times two is going to be 4x, right? Because two times 2x. Remember, you multiply the coefficients. So two times two is 4x. So this is our second double. So we're gonna to continue to double here, right? So we're gonna double this thing four times. This was our first time, this was our second time. So let's double again. So four X times two is eight X. That's our third double. And then we, uh, we're we gonna double one more time to get our um, doubling four times, right? So eight X times two gets us to 16 X. All right, so this was our fourth time that we doubled this number X. So one more time, so X, this is our first double, two X. 4x, 8x, 16x. Okay, so the result of doubling this number four times is this variable expression 16x. Now, this is not going to do us any good unless, again, we can build an equation. And the only way we're going to be able to build an, equa an equation is to go back to the problem. And the problem uh, states the following, right? If you double a number four times, the result okay is and the magic word here is this word right uh, here this is an awesome word word in algebra word problems is because is is always the equal sign okay so if we double a number four times the result is so this is going to be translated as equal sign is equal to 80 okay so 
we doubled this number, okay, x, four times, we got 16x right here, right? So this is what we got when we doubled this number uh, four times, 16x, and the result is 80. Okay, so the next step here is going to be uh, to solve this equation. And then, of course, we'll check our work just to make sure that we did this right. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well. Now, the problem that we're doing involves uh, kind of first uh, year algebra. So if you need help with pre-algebra, Algebra 1 courses like that, check out the, those courses of mine. You can find the links of those in the description of this video. So again, that would be pre-algebra, Algebra 1, or maybe even my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to the problem. Okay, so here was our, um, uh, our equation. Remember, we're using algebra here, and we have x. x is our number, right? So we're going to double that number uh, four times. The result is 16x, but the result is 80. Okay, the result is equal to 80, so we have 16x is equal to 80. So to solve this equation for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 16. Okay, so 80 divided by 16 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Now, um, let's suppose we're like, well, is this right? It looks pretty good, but we can easily check this. Let's go ahead and do this right now. So if our number is 5, and if we double that number four times, is the result going to be 80? Well, let's go ahead and double 5, right? So let's start with 5. We'll double it once. That's going to be 10. Okay, so let's double again. That would be 20 because 10 uh, doubled, right? 10 times 2. And then we'll double 20 again. Uh, we'll double this number again. So 20 times 2 is 40. And then we'll double one more time. And look, the result indeed is 80. Okay, so a lot of you could have taken all different sorts of approaches. You could actually have started with 80 and worked your way backwards, or you kind of you could have just kind of guessed and checked. Maybe you said, oh, let me take three and double three. Okay, you are looking for some sort of integer value here. So I would have been, oh, that's six. All right, that would have been 12. And you're like, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 80. Uh, you know, there's all different sorts of approaches. So even if you use trial and error or your own creative process, that is fantastic. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.